Detective McDonald certainly turned his tragedy into something so special. He became an international voice for peace, touching so many lives. CBS 2's Tony Aiello is here now with more on the life of Detective McDonald. Tony. He really has a very special place in the history of the NYPD and the hearts of police everywhere. Just two years into the job, Stephen McDonald was paralyzed by three bullets fired by a teenager. He went on to live a life that celebrated the triumph of the human spirit. Detective Stephen McDonald in 2003, speaking to students at a high school rocked by a football hazing scandal. Forgiveness grows, understanding and tolerance. From high schools to parades to police precincts, McDonald made countless visits to preach the value of forgiveness and reconciliation. Cardinal Dolan spoke about it on his Sirius XM radio show this afternoon. He became a just a, a living, breathing prophet of reconciliation and charity. I visited him on Sunday. He, of course, was unconscious. The intensive care unit was just jammed with police and family and friends. McDonald died after suffering a heart attack on Friday, one of many health issues in recent years. My wife's love, my son's affection, Keeps me going every day of my life. His life changed forever as a rookie cop. July 12, 1986, Central Park. A teenage bicycle thief shot McDonald three times. One bullet severed his spine. He pulled the trigger on the gun, and I watched it explode. Uh, a reddish orange flame jumping out of the barrel of the gun. What really I remember most it was so terribly loud. McDonald was newly married to wife Patty Ann, who gave birth to son Connor three months after the gunfire. On the day of Connor's baptism, a sacrament for the forgiveness of sin, McDonald decided to forgive the teenager who shot him. Had I sought revenge, I, I would have been a dead man already. Connor grew up to follow his father into the NYPD. Stephen McDonald never retired and never ceased offering his moral support to New York's finest. To me, he's my hero because he goes through so much pain that we will never, ever understand. No doubt McDonald struggled to understand the challenges and the suffering that filled the last 30-plus years, even as countless friends and strangers came to admire the bravery and grace that characterized Stephen McDonald to his dying day. God has a plan for me. Um, it's different from other people, and that's the only reason why I'm here. This afternoon, Mayor de Blasio said all New Yorkers are heartbroken at the loss of this city's greatest example of heroism and grace. Detective McDonald always credited his wife and son for their love and support. And tonight, the Detectives Union is praising Patty Ann and Connor McDonald as people of great character and courage.